You are average at best, and a lot of it is your fault. The reason why I say this is because I've worked with genuinely handsome guys and average guys. It wasn't their looks that were too different, but more so their habits and systems, which then affected their looks. So today we're gonna break down the things that I've noticed handsome guys do that average men don't. Now, before we get into it, guys, remember the rating system, all right? Seven and a half out of 10 equals handsome. And if you're above that, you're approaching Greek God Adonis status. But average, I would say, is around the five to six out of 10. So when you think about it in a holistic perspective, you're actually not too far off from being handsome. Just a few adjustments can actually bring you up a point or two. And even me myself, I wasn't always handsome. I actually started out pretty average. And the reason why I knew I was average is because my results with women at the time were very, very average. And kind of the market will dictate where you are in terms of the scale. Now that we got that out the way, the first thing that I noticed that handsome guys do that average guys don't is the fact that they're always testing new looks and strategies. Strategies. Take a look at any of my videos, guys, from a year ago, two years ago. You'll notice one thing about myself is the fact that I never look the same, right? One minute I have medium curly hair, short hair, long beard, stubble beard, no beard. And I do this purposefully, guys. It's not the fact that I just always have to change up my hairstyle. This is just simply testing different looks that work best for me. Now with me myself, I found that I can actually pull off a lot of different looks, but you guys out there, you're just sticking to the same look you've had for years. Somebody from high school or college will look at you and not see any difference besides the fact that you probably have gotten a little bit older. So that is a big issue. Every single handsome guy I know always changes up their looks, not just for the novelty of it, but to see what they can do better. I know you guys heard the saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And that works once you figure it out the best look for you. So the next question is, how do I find the best look for me? Well, what I did is that whenever I had a certain hairstyle or new look, I would take new pictures with this new look. I would then go on dating apps, post these pictures on Instagram, and I would notice a response from people. Remember what I said at the beginning, how the market sort of dictates your rating and your results from external factors such as women, obviously. So if you notice that women are approaching you more, complimenting you more, if you notice your results are better with women overall with this new look, then that is a positive sign that, hey, I should probably stick to this one. Now, the last thing I did mention was strategies, right? Not just looks, but also strategies. And I believe there is a formula to absolutely everything. And so what I try to do is I try to go out and find these formulas and then from from there, develop a framework that specifically works best for me. Now, I've actually done this with dating in itself, with building out my dating funnel, building out certain strategies that I teach my Digital Romeo students. And the fact that I've developed these strategies has allowed me to see more success, but it came through testing. Everything is just consistently testing. But now I've done it for years at this time, so now I know exactly what works best for me and other people. Now, the next thing I noticed that handsome guys do, that average men don't, is the fact that they put a huge priority on their health. Here's a fun fact for you guys. In terms of attractiveness, all it is really is health indicators, right? You look at somebody who is like biologically healthy on the inside and out, that person is more likely to be more attractive than somebody who is, you know, not in good health in terms of their skin, their hair, maybe they got something going on internally that will represent on the outside, making them less attractive. So with that being said, in terms of prioritization, I noticed that handsome men really prioritize their skin, hair, and body, those three things. In terms of hair, they always make sure they got a full head of hair that is thick and dark. Pause. And I always say this, the first sign of balding for me, I swear I'm on the first flight to Turkey. There's no way I would just willingly let my hair go because I know that hair is a big, big indicator of attractiveness. Think about it. Imagine if I was to take off my eyebrows or if I was to thin my eyebrows, how would I look? I would look way less attractive. So once you understand the importance of hair and the attractiveness that hair plays into a man's handsomeness, then you will start prioritizing that too. Now you guys should know that you need to be in the gym working out, right? Ideally, you wanna be between eight and 12% body fat. That's where most people are gonna look their most attractive self. At that body fat range is where you actually look the most lean, but also the most healthiest. Once you get below 8% body fat, you start looking a bit too lean, too bodybuildery, like you're about to go compete in a show where you got veins, and if you don't have enough muscle, you actually look really skinny too, which really isn't that attractive. And I would say some guys could actually pull off the 13 to 15% sort of body fat range. This range is where you look the most full and closed, and for that reason, you might 
might look more attractive too. But for the most part, most people like 10 to 12% is gonna be your sweet spot. Along with that, make sure that you've had built enough muscle to actually look decent whenever you're shirtless or even in clothes. If you're a 10 to 12% body fat and you're, let's say five foot 10 and 130 pounds, then that's clearly a sign that you're, you're too skinny. You need to build some muscle, right? You never wanna be on the either extremes of any side. You don't wanna be too overweight, too high percent body fat, but you also don't wanna be too lean or too skinny. Be in the gym at least three times a week, train every muscle group at least twice a week and have a consistent gym routine. Now, just like a gym routine, you need to have a skincare routine that personally addresses your flaws and your weak points, much like how you would do in the gym, right? So if I need more shoulders, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do some lateral raises. I'm gonna do some extra overhead press, add a little bit more volume. You guys need to approach that same idea with skincare. You don't just wash your face with a rag go and throw on some moisturizer you need to identify and objectively look at your skin and see the things that you personally can improve on then from there create a skincare around that and that's exactly why i'm excited about today's video sponsor Tej Hanley. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you already know that Tej Hanley simplifies the whole process of taking care of your skin by providing the essential every guy's needs in their skincare system. But what you probably didn't know is that they have other products too, and they actually just dropped their new retinal stick. This is an ultra high performance anti-aging product that is packed with top notch ingredients like retinol, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide. It's designed to smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles, firm up your skin, boost collagen production, all while keeping your skin hydrated. Yes, there are other retinol products on the market, but as usual, Tiege innovated by creating theirs in a stick format, which glides on effortlessly and creates an invisible barrier to lock in that much needed benefits of the product. And to celebrate the launch of this product, they are giving you guys an awesome deal to get started. When you use my special link in the description to buy your first retinol stick, they're gonna throw in a free skincare system that's a 33 dollars value and they're giving it to you for free now once you claim this offer you'll become a tige member which comes with a ton of benefits including 20 percent off the retail price access to exclusive monthly deals flexibility to pause or cancel at any time and free u.s shipping so guys if you're ready to take your skincare to the next level and enjoy smoother more youthful looking skin this retinal stick is unbeatable don't miss out click the link down below in my description to get started today now guys i want you to do this exercise with me for a moment think about your friend group whether it be an old friend group back in high school and college or maybe actively right now ask yourself am i the most handsome guy in this friend group and you'll know if you're the most handsome guy right whenever you guys go out do you get the most attention or is it a certain other friend and if you're thinking of this friend my question to you is why haven't you asked them for advice why haven't you take and learn from them in terms of their habits and what they're doing because that's exactly what other handsome men do is the fact that they take advice and learn from other handsome men now clearly you're watching this youtube video so you're on the right path but you guys need to do this actively in person with your other handsome friends and of course you know pause no homo all the above you guys don't have to make it weird but just whenever you're around him to kind of see his routine see how he grooms himself see how often he gets a haircut ask him like why did you wear this sort of outfit why did you put that together or are there any little hacks that he does that really makes him stand out because believe it or not a lot of handsome men who really go out their way to show their attractiveness have these hidden hacks that they probably won't tell their friend group about so the more questions you ask then obviously the more that you're going to learn basically once again this is the reverse engineering mentality that i believe every guy should have outside of just this handsomeness stuff too but in life in general if you really want to find the answers to something all you have to do is just reverse engineer Find the people who are already doing good at something and then just ask questions and kind of break down what works best for them. Then try to implement those things within your own life. Now, the last thing that handsome men do that average guys don't is the fact that they leverage their strengths. Listen, I don't care if you're average, ugly, above average, handsome, goddess, god, Adonis, it don't matter. Everybody has strengths that they can fully leverage. Everybody has something good about themselves that you probably don't even realize. And the way you can actually start realizing this is ask yourself, what do I get complimented on the most? Out of all the three to five compliments I've gotten in my life, what have most people have said about me that I could probably leverage? For you, it might be 
your hair texture. You might have really nice hair. You might have really nice eyebrows. You might be really tall. You might have really good style and shoe game. Something about you basically makes you better than everybody else. And that is your leveraging point. Now, with that being said, you need to double down on this leveraging point and present that everywhere you go. So. For example, let's go with the really tall guy, right? You, you might not be the most attractive, but you're really tall. You're six foot three and above. When it comes to taking pictures, you need to actively show your height, show how tall you are by maybe showing a comparison of you with a short friend or you in an environment to where it, it makes it obvious that you're tall. Whenever you go out, I would even enhance that height, right? Wear some lifts, make you six, five, six, six, man on the short guys because that is your leveraging point now for me for example i've realized that over time my leveraging point was my body and then also my face as i got more attractive so these are obviously really good leveraging points but anytime i'm out or maybe if i'm just taking pictures i'll always be sure to present my leveraging points so that those are the first things that people notice and once again it's going to be different for everybody you just have to find what works best for you hopefully you guys learned something from this video i'm on a mission to make everybody more handsome at least by a point or two and hopefully with this video you're actually gonna start taking action and make yourself more handsome too. Don't forget to check out the retinal stick by Tej Hanley if you want smoother, younger looking skin, plus all the deals, link will be down below. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.